2024 presidential candidate Ryan Binkley was in Siouxland today touting his campaign agenda. The Republican candidate visited Will House in Sioux City this afternoon to discuss his foundation and beliefs for America. Binkley is concentrating his early efforts in Iowa, where he sent out TV ads starting early last month. Today, Binkley talked more about the 2020 election, where he says 70% of Americans ages 18 to 24 voted Democratic. He has expressed concern about the promises Democratic candidates have made to sway Gen Z voters. We have to be honest with young people, college students, of what debt means to their future. A lot of politicians are trying to buy their vote today at their children's expense in the future. So what's a benefit now, which may be tuition or whatever, that could cost them greatly 20 or 30 years from now, and we just have to be honest about that. Bingley will continue his campaign tour through the state of Iowa. He did make a stop by KTIV this afternoon to talk more about his platform and why he wants to lead America. And so let's get straight to it. Let's talk a uh, presidential 2024 run. Uh, why do you want to be president? Well, thank you, Jessica. I'm running for president because our country is really broken. It's broken culturally. You know, we're in the greatest point of division in my lifetime. Uh, we're really broken financially as well. And I really believe with my background as a businessman and a pastor, I'm coming with a different message. So I'm really calling our, our country to unify, to solve our biggest problems that we have together. You know, the Republicans and Democrats were so divided, but we don't have to be on every major issue. Some of these are American issues. So I'm talking about how for us to unite on them, particularly balancing the budget in a way that works for America, as well as coming up with health care transformation. I believe we need a comprehensive plan, which we can do with Republicans and Democrats. We need to have a comprehensive plan, not just sealing the border, but we actually have to have a worker registration process. And lastly, we want to revitalize urban America. We want to challenge young people to serve again in our country. You know, we haven't had, we haven't had a volunteer movement in our country since the 60s and 70s of the Peace Corps. We want to start a volunteer movement with education and revitalize urban America. Okay, so transform healthcare. I know that's been a big push of yours. Expand on that. Yeah, so right now, competition in healthcare is just non-existent or not what it needs to be. We need to make price transparency available. We need to allow insurance companies to compete across state lines and actually put the patient back in charge. And so many patients don't know what it costs when they go in to see a doctor today. We need to just bring competition back. Social Security. Well, Social Security is running out of money, so we have to protect it as much as we can, and certainly for the uh, people that are 55 or older, but we have to be honest with Americans. It's out of money, so we have some things to do in order to protect it. We need to grow our economy, but we have some challenges. Any last words for Siouxlanders who are watching? Yes. Well, it's just time to believe again. It's time to believe that we can come out of this division that we're in, unify our country. I know that we can do it, and this is a different message for the Republican Party because a comprehensive of immigration plans new, focusing on urban America is new. We lost, the Republican Party lost 46 of the last 50 cities, biggest 50 cities in America in the last election. We can win them back by going into the heart of urban America, revitalizing urban America and college students. And it's time for us to reach the next generation. So that's my heart. And um, I'm just asking for that. So Binkley2024.com. If you'd like to uh, see us on the debate stage, it's just a $1 donation. We need 40,000 unique donors. So please go there and check it out. All right. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you.